All right, good morning. It is 6.45 a.m. on a Monday morning. It is also eclipse day. There is a clear path for this eclipse. I believe it's starting out in like Texas and it's working its way up towards the East Coast. All right, I'm here in Rhode Island and uh, I think that the path passes through parts of New England, all right? And from what I understand, we're not gonna get 100% visibility on this thing, but we will get 90% visibility on it, all right? And it's supposed to happen around 2 p.m. today. Now, I don't have any weird glasses, so I won't be able to look at it directly, or I could go blind, apparently, all right? So we don't wanna go blind today but it will be interesting to see how it affects the daylight. Will it go dark here or will it even go partially dark here? Now there's some people out there really excited for the eclipse. It's a historical day, but there's also some, some people that are freaked out by it. They think something bad is gonna happen. So I guess we'll find out. Also, we have a rather unusual to-do list today because it is also Mutant Mayhem Monday. All right, now, let me explain. We need to get eight mutants in in uh, the drop-off photos today, all right, separately. So we're gonna be doing that today. It's gonna be a challenge all on its own. We're not even gonna have a monetary goal today. Today's not about the money. And the other thing that we wanna to achieve today is I really wanna get my hands on two slices of really good pizza. And we're talking like gourmet pizza. Like I'm gonna be on the lookout for like not just any pizzeria type of deal. Like I'm not trying to just go into Papa Gino's and get a slice. I'm on the lookout for a standout pizza uh, shop and it shouldn't be too hard to find in Rhode Island, okay? So those are the three things happening in today's video. We got the eclipse, we got mutant mayhem and we, we're looking for two really good slices of pizza. So I'm ready, are you ready? Let's do our usual morning routine, and then we'll get after it.
Check out Mikey catching some rays in the back here. All right, that was a nice little run at the gym. And uh, we are heading out to start our work day. All right, but we gotta get set up first. We need to get our mutants ready for the day. We need to get our bags ready, get our work area ready. Look at that beautiful day, clear skies. This is going to be an interesting day with the eclipse. All right, so we have our power drink right here, ready to go. It's pretty much just greens blends and a little bit of apple cider vinegar dumped into some water. Shaken up good, bottoms up. It doesn't taste half bad either. All right, let's get ready for mutant mayhem. This is where our mutants are. All right, we need eight mutants to complete this task. Genghis is gonna be in there. Bebop is gonna be in there. Leatherhead will be participating. Rocksteady will be participating. We're only gonna do one Ninja Turtle. It's gonna be Raphael, okay? He likes to hang with the baddies sometimes. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, Mondo Gecko. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need two more. All right, we're gonna do Superfly. And we're gonna get Master Splinter involved today. All right, we need some wisdom out here on these streets. Okay, so everyone's ready to go here but we're gonna need some weapons in case we run into trouble. All right, so here we have an arsenal of weaponry right here. Let's get these boys suited up. All right, everybody is armed and ready. Let's turn on the apps and let's see what we can get going. All right, we're gonna pull into this McDonald's here and get a decaf coffee. So we got our first offer of the day from Grubhub, Chipotle, $7 for three miles. Bebop's gonna get this one. Let's hit it. be cool if we could get a reaction from somebody today so let's see if we can get just one all right just one reaction today it's happened before like three times or something like that um, and it's usually laughter right people laugh when they see that there's a friggin ninja turtle posted up next to their order all right first up we got our bloated warthog bebop Let's get him situated here. The funny thing about it is the woman was actually looking at me through the window as I was doing this. 
but we had to get our shot. So we got it. Let's keep it moving. All right, Bebop is done. Mondo Gecko is next. So it's a beautiful day for some mutant mayhem, and we got Mondo Gecko up next. Now, Mondo Gecko is a very spirited and peaceful young lizard. He's thrown up the peace sign, kind of. Three fingers instead of two, though, it looks like. Anyways, we got the shot. Let's move. We got a little stacker down here at Subway for less than a mile, an additional $4.50. Let's go grab it. Subway. I don't know how they do it. Have they ever tried Jersey Mike's? You know, that's, that's what I wonder. Get ready, boys. All right, it'll be Master Splinter for this one. Spreading wisdom all across the land. All right, that first one was a handoff, so we didn't get an opportunity to take a shot of one of our guys. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so Master Splinter is going to get his turn with this DoorDash order. And we got to take it easy with Master Splinter because he's getting up there in age, all right? His rat bones aren't what they used to be. So let's set him up, let's get this shot, and let's keep this thing moving. He's kind of hard to stand. There we go. Great, let's move. All right, our first and only Ninja Turtle who will be participating in Mutant Mayhem. Of course, it's Raphael. And of course, he comes out as soon as we get close to the city. Raph loves to be in the city. We're in Providence now. Let's get this shot. Okay, great. I mean, he kind of smiled. Let's keep it moving. so I had to cancel that order. Somebody wanted some solar shades an hour before the eclipse, man. Sold out. Oh boy, 67 degrees out here. The temperature really jumped up. So we're out here on Atwell's Avenue in Providence. All right, and there are a few pizza places on this street. And I'm thinking we could get our pizza mission complete right now. Let's turn it around. We'll find a parking spot. And I want two decent sized slices of pizza. One pepperoni and one surprise. Let's see if we can get it. All right, we're parked outside of Napolitano's Pizza, Brooklyn Pizza, that is, in Providence, all right? We're gonna jump in here, get a couple of slices, and let's see what it's all about. We're even gonna sit outside on one of these benches. It's not really a bench, though. It's just a chair and a table. You know what? I'm looking for two slices of pizza. I'll do a slice of pepperoni. And do you have any like specials? This one is, is barbecue chicken with caramelized onion. Oh, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do a slice of that and a slice of pepperoni, please. That'll do it. Gotta use the bathroom. 
It's kind of spooky in here. All right, the pizza has arrived. Wait till you get a load of this. Yeah. I was in hospice. And now you're out. Good for you, man. I like that hoodie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This pizza right here, freaking delicious. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I made the right choice again. Can't wait to try this one right here. It's got chicken, barbecue chicken, and caramelized onions. It's hard to do this with one hand, but I'm, I'm gonna try. An instant 10 subscribers for this one-handed shot right here. Here we go. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Fire. Absolute fire. Listen, Providence is one of those cities that knows how to do pizza. For sure. So the eclipse is supposed to happen in about a half an hour. And it's still pretty bright out here. So we'll see. All right, that pizza was delicious. I highly recommend it. If you're ever in the Providence area, visit Napolitano's Brooklyn Pizza on Atwell's Avenue. It's nearly eclipse time. According to the news, we're supposed to experience this eclipse somewhere between two o'clock and three o'clock. All right, it's 1.50 right now. I'm gonna drive out of the city and I'm gonna head towards Johnston or Cranston or one of those areas. But if I notice any change in daylight, I will get it on film, all right? Let's move. Man with his doggies, man with his man, those dogs were walking him. water I have my book I have I mean I have my home here so um, I'm just posted up in the middle of a parking lot a large parking lot empty parking lot and we'll see what happens all right we'll see what happens happy eclipse everybody don't go blind Is it just me or does that trailer look a little small for that big ass bulldozer? Look how small the wheels are. All right, so that's gonna do it here in Rhode Island. Didn't see much, 
All right, it got a little shady at one point, but that's about it. I thought it would get a little darker out here, but it didn't. And we're past the peak time here, so it's 3.40 now. The peak time was around 3.30, so we're gonna turn the apps on. We're gonna get back to work. We have four more mutant assisted deliveries to complete. Let's get after it. All right, let's get after it. Time for Rocksteady to get some action. Look at this guy. Okay, Rocksteady is packing heat and he is ready to deliver this Popeye's chicken. Let's get this shot. Boom. Perfect. Let's keep this thing moving. All right, straight out the gate, we got this offer from Grubhub. $9 for three miles. Oh, and you feeling froggy, buddy? Let's leap. So Genghis Frog might be small, but he is ruthless. And he loves to deliver tacos, as you can see. All right, we got the shot. Who's next? Oh, my man, Leatherhead, you know I had to get some. Of course, the Cajun Gator is gonna be delivering some tropical smoothies. His habitat is tropical, after all, so this is a perfect match for him. Let's get this thing delivered. All right, show them teeth. We got this shot, who's next? All right, we just need one more order to complete our mutant mayhem mission. We got Superfly on standby, and we just got this offer from Uber Eats. Take a look at this, an absolute banger, if it's real. $34, three and a half miles, only one item at Shaw's Grocery Store. It's right down the street. Usually when an offer comes through like this, it seems too good to be true, right? It gets canceled or it turns out to be a dud. Let's go see if it's the real deal. All right, so the grocery store was only five minutes down the road, which is a great start for this possibly awesome order. So we're in the store, that's a good sign. Now they wanted Purina dog chow, but I noticed they didn't have it, but they did list pedigree as a substitute. They had that, so I scooped that up. Scan the barcode, we're good to go. Enter the amount, only one, done. Let's get this thing delivered. All right, so far so good. We just gotta make sure that this tip actually goes through. Was it mostly tip or was it some sort of boosted base pay? I don't know, we'll find out later on. This is a great offer. This is a great offer, let's get it. All right, so that was another handoff. We just can't seem to get this last shot with Superfly. Speaking of flies, there's tons of flies around me right now. Can you see that? Is this your work? So I said we were gonna get eight mutants. We're gonna get eight mutants. Let's move it. All right, now Superfly may be but ugly, but he represents finishing what we set out to do today, and that is a beautiful thing. There's that last shot of the day. Mutant Mayhem is officially over. Our mission is complete. Nice work today, everybody. We did good. All right, so that's gonna complete our Mutant Mayhem mission. We did good, we did good. And we didn't get one response today, guys, not one. It's all good, though. I do it for the fun of it. It's fun for me. And if someone else gets a kick out of it in the process, then that's just a bonus.
got home before the sun went down today. That's good. Let's set up. Didn't wear my hoodie today. It was nice and mild today. It even got warm at one point. I feel like I didn't use my hot bags that much today either. Had a lot of CVS, Walgreens, grocery store orders. I'll tell you what, why don't we speed this up? Use a little magic and then we'll end up in the lounge. You ready? Let's do it. All right, perfect, we're back in the lounge. All right, this is where we wanna be. So today was a good day, all right? We set out to achieve very specific things and we did it, all right? We woke up in the morning, we got organized, we went to the gym, we set out on our mutant mayhem mission. We got all eight mutants involved in our deliveries. Took me about 11 deliveries to get it done because I had a few handoffs, but we got it done. The boys were ready and they were armed to the teeth as well. Um, and we made $108, all right? So today wasn't necessarily about the money. It was about having a good day, right? And we did, we had a good day. And that large Uber Eats order, that $34 order, I didn't know if it was tip or was it like a big base pay? Turned out it was all base pay. And those come around every once in a while. So I'm glad we were able to scoop that order up. All right. Definitely gave us a good boost for the day. The eclipse. Nothing really happened here in Rhode Island. It got a little shady. That's about it. But no portal opened up in the sky. There was no zombie apocalypse. But it is what it is. We were ready for it. Nothing really happened. But um, it was still interesting. It was still interesting. We did get uh, to have our two slices of delicious pizza. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Napolitan, what is it? Napolitano's on Atwell's Avenue in Providence, man. Those slices were really good. <clears throat> so if you're ever in that area, check it out. All right, get the barbecue chicken with caramelized onions. Try a slice of pepperoni. Good stuff. And uh, yeah, so today was a successful day. You know, I appreciate you guys for tagging along. As always, we got the uh, soundscapes going. I'm about to have a banana. I'm going to watch my show. I'm watching a show on Netflix called Resident Alien, and I'm really liking it. All right? It's a fun show to watch. Uh, so anyways, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I will see you on the next one. Have a good night.